Hello, welcome to the Good Life Meditation for today, November 4th, 2022. My name is Kurt, and this is what I do every morning, just after waking up. It's about 4.15 a.m. right now, and um, I do this to remember my life objectives and principles, to see how I did applying those to the challenges and opportunities I encountered yesterday, and then um, recite what I recite them each, and then to plan for the coming day. Feeling a little more on my feet, on my chair, uh, back. Not quite yet, though. Still not even sure if this is the area where I'm going to have my workspace. The desk is there, my chair is here. Um, you, we're still trying to decide if we're going to move things around a little bit. So a bit of a nomad doing my good life, nomadic good life. I still don't even have my, my little writing utensil thing that I use. And I still haven't even had a sip of coffee yet. Just a moment. It's the thing about being an early riser. It uh, sometimes need a, needs a little augmentation. Uh, but not this morning. I woke with good energy this morning. It's my day off, and I, but yet I, I plan to do some work nonetheless. Um, all right, yesterday and today. Yesterday, not many challenges. It was just a hard day of work. Just, you know, the challenge was just keeping my head above water. All day long, I'm not falling asleep on the long commute home. It is a long commute. It was about an hour and a half last night. So even though it's the distance is about the same, there was a lot of traffic. So yeah, it was a long commute for sure. Oh, I did have a challenge. He's trying to find a place, the next place to sit. The challenge was my um, the barking dogs. Last night, uh, when we were having dinner, uh, Rudy was in his crate because he has an aggression issue, um, and so when Yumiko, he, he's he's latched onto me and anybody else, particularly Yumiko, gets uh, the uh, the business end of the of his of his personality. Um, so we've worked our way around that by basically having him sequestered away with me when. Uh, I'm by myself when I'm like in a, in a room or working or something like that. He'll be with me. Um, or when we're together, we usually um, put him in the crate so that uh, it's a very comfortable crate and it's very spacious and big. And he's usually quite nice in there. Uh, and uh, he, But for some reason last night, he was barking for some reason in the crate. Maybe it's because I'd been holding him for a long time beforehand and he didn't want to give up being held. Anyway. The challenge was that I it upset me, it uh, triggered me so to speak, you know, back to a little bit of my old self. I didn't, I, I was I didn't go venture back to my old self, which is I used to when I was in my twenties and thirties. I would get quite quite upset at life and circumstances, and I never never violent, but visibly upset and vocally upset. I didn't I did just a little bit of that. I did, it wasn't it wasn't extreme at all, but I was like. It's like, Rudy, 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 geez, Louise. <laughs> and I was a little caught off guard by the fact that I that it took me by surprise, even in the moment, even as it was happening, my stoic uh, inner man was uh, cautioning me to, to rein it in, to, to temper my reactions, to uh, use my stoic uh, indifference to things beyond my... Uh, the reasoning faculty, my decision-making faculty. Like I literally, there's not much I could do about the dog. I could placate him. I, I could reason my way out of it. And I did eventually. It was actually, it was Yumiko who did, who recommended we just let him out and let him wander. And he, that, that did the job. So I was a little disappointed in myself that I saw the, the, the challenge rising and I was unable to meet it. I, I didn't get unduly upset, but I did get upset. Visibly so, and it unsettled our evening. Um, and I'm not happy with myself with that I did that. So what could I do to better deal with that in the future? Well, one thing that happened was that I had, I had had a beer, so I was a little loosened in, in my uh, my self control by virtue of that. And it wasn't a regular beer; it wasn't it was a Coors, so it wasn't even a Coors Light. So. Um, that had that had loosened or, or you know brought down my guard a little bit, so I have to recognize that if I'm going to have a beer in the evening with dinner, then uh, 
that has that effect. So that's just a, you know, the, the principle of nature tells me to suggest that I should recognize the nature of things. And the nature of beer is to loosen our guard, right? You know, to, to bring, to dull the reason, reason and sense. So there's that. Yeah. What else could I have done? I could have prepared myself for it. I could have seen it coming. Yeah. The thing that the reason I got more upset about it here and last night than any time before, because this this has happened before, is because of our new living circumstances. We live in an old apartment building um, with thin walls and neighbors on either side, and I don't want to disturb the neighbors. Um, so I was, and he's got a particularly loud and piercing bark. So that's what did it. I was like, wait, wait, this is, I kind of, that's, and this is part of my nature. I tend to see things in an absolute sense, you know, like imagining, like, like I'm, I'm not being rational again. The people on the closer side, the people that live over here are actually not there. I know that they're away. So they, they're the ones that would be most disturbed. My, I, I, I could have prepared myself could have said, okay, I'm about to put Rudy in the crate in the new place where we have thin walls and I do worry about the neighbors. And it's like, it's, there's a chance that he might bark. It's happened before. If that happens, I can recognize that the neighbor closest is not, that's an empty apartment. I don't have to worry about them. You want to come up here? Oh, you want to go, huh? <laughs> there's, there's a little Ollie. You want to go for a walkie? Okay, let's do that. Um, so I, I could have recognized that and been better prepared. That's asking a lot, though, especially after a hard day, after a long commute. So maybe it's reasonable that I got ambushed a little bit. And maybe that's part of the nature of life, right? The thing is that I, uh, I, 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 met, I didn't, even though it got the best of me, I didn't, I didn't let it overwhelm me. Not that it was really in danger of doing that. It, it wasn't, it was, it was, it wasn't the most significant thing. But then I have this chance to do a, uh, um, uh, a retrospective, so to speak, to use a project management term, on the incident and incident report and analysis. Yeah. Okay. Well, clearly, somebody wants to go for a walkie. So let's do the uh, lightning round. My seven objectives are to always be ready to die, to make good and effective use of time, to develop and maintain good and sound life principles, to cultivate good emotional reactions, to perform good actions, to recognize true limits and true opportunity, and to do just one thing at a time, and to do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. This is not the dog that was barking. This is the other, the other boy. My 30 principles are war, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, the home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, principle of nature, pirate ride, maturity, social principle, public speaking, distraction, agency in the great indifference, temperance, life will not go well, the horror show, that which must be born, the feast of awful, the, the uh, best seat in the house, the restless man, the path of wildness, the great life adventure, the risk of avoiding risk, sin and damnation, complete oblivion, the season of philosophy, the bullseye aim, the uphill climb, arena and utility, Nothing is enough in the principle of fun. Okay. What am I going to do today? Today, I am going to... Um, uh, I'm going to work, actually, a little bit. I have, even though it's my day off, I have uh, two meetings that I need to attend uh, relative to the upcoming election on November 8th. Um, I'm managing the, the IT for that, so um, for this county. So um, I have to uh, have meetings with the teams. Today's the big day. You gotta really be on my feet today. The teams are actually already, you know, probably right about now, they're already, I just need to dispatch out into the field, so I'm gonna be on my feet. It'll be a, basically a day of work, and I'm gonna try to do a couple of other things as well. So I've been monitoring the computers. I do have the workstation all set up right over here. You can kind of see. It's all set up. It's not its permanent location, but I'll fire this up and and uh, get busy to work. But first I'll walk these dogs. Well, I'll feed these dogs, then I'll walk these dogs. Then I'll come back, and then I'll get busy and get to work. Also, Emily's going to drop by and see us, and uh, the Spectrum guy should be coming to hook up our cable uh, later, uh, or about between 2.30 and 3. Have a good one.
Be safe, but not too safe. Take care.